Okay, I'll just wait a few more minutes to see if we have any more attendees. All right, welcome everyone to my first ever Office Hours with Jenny. And if you don't know me, I'm the Executive Director of Wood Library, and I'm here to give you an update today um, about what's going on at the library um, and to answer any questions that you might have. So um, if you do have any questions, please put it in the chat box and I'll address them after I do get my update. So what is happening at Wood Library? Uh, there's been a lot going on. Staff have been busy producing fun uh, and fun content and posting it to our social media platforms. Uh, you could probably see that Mrs. Ferris has taken over our YouTube channel with flannel board Fridays, virtual story times, and craft projects for kids. Uh, Katie, our teen services librarian, is busy scheduling teen gaming nights and teen advisory board meetings. Uh, she has even recruited the teen authors Becky Abertelli and Jen Dugan to return to Wood Library to speak to teens on June 11th. And that's actually open to both teens and adults. So check out our online calendar if you'd like to find out how to go about viewing that. Um, Alexis Lawrence, who's our uh, adult services librarian, she has worked nonstop on transitioning all of our ongoing adult programs, uh, moving them online like the Parkinson Support Group, the Canandaigua Writers Group, the Knitters Connection, and the Alzheimer's Support Group. Uh, she's even been planning special programs to keep our community engaged and entertained during this pandemic. So look for weekly Pilates classes, movie watch parties, and gardening workshops, all from the comfort of your home. Uh, coming up on June 18th at 7 p.m., think about attending a virtual wine tasting event, which I think is gonna be a lot of fun, with Heron Hill Winery with a special wine kit delivered right to your door prior to the event. Each librarian is gearing up for summer reading programs, which will be virtual this year. So be sure to check out uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and even TikTok to see what we've been up to. And as you are aware, I hope, uh, Wood Library is pursuing a tax increase of $20,000 to help support the library's 2021 operating budget. This is a 2.86% increase over our current $700,268 levy. The change will increase the library property tax rate by approximately six tenths of one cent per thousand of assessed property valuation, adding 90 cents to the entire tax bill of a property assessed at 150,000. The 2021 budget is projected to be $981,600. And the vote date is June 9th, and will be taken place um, via absentee ballot. So if you are a qualified voter within the Canandaigua City School District, you should have already received your uh, absentee ballot with a postage paid envelope. Um, and you'll notice that it does say on there that the vote date is June 9th, and for your ballot to be counted, it needs to be back at the school district office by five o'clock that same day. Um, and Wood Library's proposition is on that ballot and we're proposition number four. So in regards to the remainder of the year, because our income sources are uncertain given the pandemic, the library board and I have worked tirelessly on a contingency budget. Uh, when the library does reopen in late June, there will be cuts to hours, collections and programming, but these are necessary to allow the library to continue to operate. So if you are not already aware, a majority of the staff have been furloughed. Uh, we have um, put aside much needed technology purchases for now. Uh, new program initiatives have been postponed and some building projects have been canceled. But we do hope to return to normal operations in 2021. So what does the reopening of Wood Library look like? I get this question a lot. Uh, people wanna know when we're reopening. Uh, and we are following guidance from the Pioneer Library System to reopen during phase four of the Governor's Forward New York plan. So staff is busy securing the necessary PPE, which includes gloves, masks, face shields, and plexiglass sneeze guard. Uh, we're purchasing hand sanitizer and disinfectant, and we're also developing a reopening plan with the appropriate policies and procedures in place. As you can imagine, the PPE is a little hard to come by right now, but we are piecing it all together. And all of this is required prior to opening. And because the majority of staff were furloughed, um, I will be calling them soon to prepare for reopening. And staff training will definitely be a part of this preparation. 
the Board of Trustees will need to review the reopening plan and policies before we move forward with the reopening. And all this needs to be in place before we reopen. And I want to do this as thoughtfully as we can. Um, so you can expect to see curbside delivery as the first part of reopening at the end of June, followed by limited occupancy in the building when we do open to the public in July. Um, masks and social distancing will be required. And also part of this plan includes quarantining library materials upon return for 72 hours. And as I said, we are following guidance from our library system. So I hope everyone understands why we're taking things cautiously and slowly. I want the library to reopen as much as you do, but we first need to put all the necessary safeguards in place. Um, my utmost priority is to protect the health and safety of patrons and staff. So uh, thank you for everyone's patience. And um, please let me know if you have any questions by putting them in the chat box and I'll do my best to answer them. All right, well, thank you all for attending and I hope to see you next week when you check in with the library or you can certainly watch this at your own convenience and just get caught up as to what we've been doing at Wood Library and what's to come. Thank you.